Are you a stressed out parent? Still figuring out how to come out of these parenting stress? Then this video is just for you. Stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm going to share with you some of the tips that as parents, how you can come out of these stress that we usually have. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Myself, Kanis Fatima, mom of three, a lecturer for more than a decade, turned teen parent relationship coach. I help teenagers and their parents get unstuck in life, out with their hurdles and bring that intimacy in their relationship. We all agree that parenting stress can strain the entire family. It becomes so detrimental that our relationship also becomes challenging sometimes and our social well-being is also damaged. So how to, come, how to come out of these stress or how to chill out from these parenting stress? I'm going to tell you in this video. So these are some of the tips that can help you out. Number one, keep constantly in touch with your close relatives or friends who are genuinely trying to help you. Don't ask suggestions and uh, maybe your reviews with any Tom, Dick and Harry. Be specific only those who really are your well-wishers. Keep in touch with them and see that you get genuine reviews or your suggestions and also some of the advices that you have to take. But you are the ultimate owner or you are the boss of your family. You need to decide what are the suggestions that are suitable, that are suitable for your life, for your family. Number two, never compare yourself with any parent you are ultimate so always keep in mind that comparing things with others thinking that oh this mother she's doing so many things i can see her on the social media she's into uh, maybe socializing she is she is a great mom or he is a great father the mind gets wired that we are not good enough or the mind says brings a message that uh, you that we are we are not worthy to be good parents so once we get that message we usually don't feel like doing any kind of work so it is better compare yourself with yourself do not compare it with any other parent each one has unique style and a unique pattern so see to it that you try to be always flexible and try to change yourself for a better but do not feel low by comparing yourself with other parents. Number three, the most powerful technique that I keep using these days is ignoring all the negatives and trying to focus on the positives. I recently came across a book called Well Done, very interesting book based on the relationship. And here it says how humans are training the killer whale and based on that relationship, how we can maintain our relations. So how do we do that? It's all about ignoring all the negatives and trying to focus on the positives. Now you may be telling me, how can we ignore a negative uh, behavior of our child? Now here we have to do two main things. That is ignoring at the same time we are focusing and appreciating the positives. Once the child is receptive and trying to understand, only then you can advise or give your suggestions. Until then, please do not give any suggestions. Now, I will be getting, I have got most of the queries here while parents are asking me, how can we ignore all that negative behaviors of our children? We have not got to do anything or we have not got to tell them or advise them. It's not about that. What you need to do is just wait for that moment for the child to become receptive. Once he is in the receptive mode, then only he he can understand what you what you want to talk about or what you want to express so see to it that you advise or suggest them only at the right time number four which is very important take care of your own health most of the parents they just ignore their own health they neglect their health maybe the rest time or me time or also proper diet food and sleep this is very very important only when you have proper sleep your mental health your physical health is in the proper condition to take care of your own family just like how in the airplane we have got the instructions that you have to wear the mask yourself first and then wear 
make your children wear it. So this instruction is very very helpful. We have to understand that taking care of the self is given more priority here. To have a healthy family, your physical and mental stability is very important. Number five, start delegating your work. Most of the pressure that we have is about the household chores and maybe the office chores or office duties that we have to complete. When we are not able to complete that, we get pressure. We get that internal, external pressure. That's the reason we have conflicts also, disputes also in the family. So once you start delegating your work, even with your children, even if it is a four-year-old child, start delegating the work, start dividing and allotting each of them their own work and duties and start gamifying it. I know they don't do it, but start gamifying it, give them some rewards, something that makes them enjoy that work. Once you start applying all these tips, I'm sure you will have some relief and you will come out of this stress in your parenting journey. I hope this video helps you and do share this video with most of your friends so that they too get benefited from all these tips and hacks that I'm going to share with you. I have given a link in the description box below so that you can get in touch with me and call me whenever you feel that you want to consult regarding any of your teenage problems. I'm more than happy to help you out in all these matters. We are here just to make this world a better place to live in.